Welcome to the fifth and final stop of the Alabama Bass Trail North Division here at Wheeler Lake, Decatur, Alabama. Luke Duncan, your guest MC today, also going to be out on the water. 225 boats took off. We've had a mild week this week, but the weather's going to heat up today. What do you expect from the fishing? I expect Wheeler to show out like it has been for the last couple years. The grass is growing great on the Decatur Flats. The lower ends really came back to life with that. It actually it helps the overall health of the entire fishery when Decatur's healthy. So I think we're going to see a lot of good bass of fish and uh, we're going to see some sweaty anglers weighing those in though because it's going to be nearly 90 degrees. It is. As the weather heats up, the fishing will too, but let's get out on the water for the Academy Sports and Outdoors first cast of the day. Our Alabama Bass Trail North Division is a final stop this year. A lot on the line. Guys battling for Angler of the Year points. Guys trying to make the championship. Guys trying to make team championship. And guys trying to be Angler of the Year. A lot's going on here on Wheeler Lake. Should be really exciting. Stick with us because the action's coming up right now. We made a short little run down Lake to catch up with Steve Jack Hughes and Shane Tyree. They do have one fish in the box already this morning. And as I look back towards takeoff, my cameraman pans over to the right for just a second. This is what is well known as the Decatur Flats. And from here to takeoff, I'm gonna guess there's probably 100 boats. I can see 50 of them probably. So uh, let's just say that guys have all kind of grouped up together this morning and are gonna be working the flats over. It is a well known area. There's lots of grass in this area. The fish are up shallow this morning. Uh, have a major mayfly hatch overnight. So it, as much as you see the mayfly hatch on the water, it looks the same on the lake up here with the guys just all over the, the flats this morning. So we stopped on Damien Willis, Tyler Kiker first thing. These guys are third place AOI, and they decided to stop here at the area known as Decatur Flats. They're towards the lower end of the Decatur Flats, but they're up on top of the ledge, actually kind of on the backside of the of the river channel edge here, and there's scatter grass here. Pretty close to where they are, a little bit further up, there's a ditch that actually cuts through there and runs parallel to the backside. They're not moving very, very fast, but they are kind of moving around. These, these schools of fish can kind of move around in here. With this grass, they kind of move around, they look for bait, feeding opportunities come and go. So what a lot of these guys are gonna do is kind of move around a little bit, get in there, move around a little bit, see if they can uh, find the school of fish, especially first thing this morning. Uh, the action be, can be pretty quick when you get on them. Uh, but so far, these guys have not had a, had a bite yet. Guys, we're finally out on the flats with everybody else and their brother. Uh, as you've heard Ken and, and Jason allude to this morning, we've caught up with Alan Johnson, Tim Hurst here. I think they're trying to be kind of sneaky. They don't really want to talk to us. So we're just laying back. I haven't seen them catch a fish, but they're actually, they're, they're on the, uh, the opposite side of the flats over here on the, just off of the river channel on the Decatur side and both, both throwing big worms. Guys, how many do y'all have so far? We got zero right here with Johnson and, and Hearst. Of course, Mark McKegg and Tim, a staple out here on the Alabama Bass Trail. Mark fishing another event today. So Alan Johnson's filling in. Alan's got a lot of experience here on Wheeler. Alabama Bass Trail TV, presented by Phoenix Boats, is brought to you by Bill Penny Automotive, where it's always Bill Penny time, by Jacks, all about the South, and by Sweet Home Alabama. In 2009, it all started with this 721 Pro XP and a passion to build the best fishing platform in design, performance, and construction for all of our customers. Through the years, motors have changed, electronics have changed, but the passion to build the best bass boat possible has not changed. Everyone at Phoenix believes we got it right the first time. 
Bill Petty Toyota is Alabama's number one volume Toyota dealer. But that's not the only reason to get to know Bill Petty. Enjoy a 10-year unlimited warranty on every new Toyota in stock. Get one year of 24-7 roadside assistance. Test drive for the chance to win $5,000. You heard right. 5,000 big ones. Plus, choose from over 700 new Toyotas in stock and price to move. Bill Petty Toyota is Alabama's number one volume Toyota dealer. Get to know us today. The perfect checking account doesn't exist. Not at a bank, that is. So why do you keep looking there? At Amfirst, you can get no minimum balance or monthly fees, an instant issue debit card, and free checks with unlimited check writing. But who doesn't want more? Like a rewards program you'll actually use, and convenient digital tools that make it easy to manage your account from anywhere. Now you could try and find that at a bank, or you could save yourself the trouble by checking with us. Stetson Blaylock! Todd Otten! Hank Terry! Let's go! Garmin Live Scope, I tell you right now, if you don't have it, you are behind. It's just wild. It's like a video game. If you do not have that Garmin Live Scope, you are definitely missing out. Bassmaster Classic Champion! So the team you see now in my camera is Team 152. It's Terry Pryor and Terry Mann, and uh, Boat 31's there in the background. Boat 31's hooked up. Looks like a small fish. There was grass everywhere last year, and this year there's not near as much grass. But the difference is it's better grass now than it was. It was a lot of different kind of grass last year, some of it kind of stringy, but there's a lot more hydrilla now. And I really think long term that's going to really make things a lot better. All right, we got boat number 65 currently sitting seventh in the AOI, Shane Mears and James Mears. Guys, big day today, right? Y'all got a lot on the line, I know. Not trying to put any more pressure than you already feel, I know. Got one in the box, though. That's a great start. I get the bears out of the boat. Yeah, you got to blow all the mayflies out at some point, too, right? Yeah, exactly. Have y'all seen so many mayflies in one spot? Yeah. It's crazy, right? Yeah. So how was practice? It was all right. Between here and the, if we look back between here and the landing, there's a lot of boats. <laughs> over there. I mean, I, it's a pretty crazy day, right? Yeah. So what we know, so what we know is the Decatur Flats, and that's what we expect though this time of year for sure. So we're dragging a jig, looks like. Yeah, dragging the jig, cranking a little. Just typical gene. Yeah, typical gene pattern. Yep. No strangers to catching bass on the Tennessee River in the ABTs, Smith and Rain. How many y'all have so far? Just pulled out. So we, we brought you luck. We like to hear that. Just boated their first bass right as we were easing in here. Got one 
throwing a spinner bait, one dragging a Carolina rig. You got one guy dragging and one guy winding, and that's very important to me to always fish something different from the guy in the front of the boat. Unless it's just every cast, just keep trying something different till you get it dialed in. Two different approaches, and that's what makes them one of the best teams out here on the ABT. How's it going so far? We got five. Okay, what kind of, what kind of weight? They're, they're small. I got one small mouth, go about three pounds. Okay. They just need to grow up a little. How many total fish you think you caught? You what? How many total fish you think you caught? Just five so far. Okay. And we have caught up with the fourth place AOI leaders here, just eight points out of the lead. Do have a limit, got one good fish and four small ones, you said, Michael. What kind of weight do you think you got? Uh, eight, eight pounds, maybe. Eight pounds. Now, what's that, what's that big one? Uh, probably got a four pounder. Four. Doing something a little different than other teams we've seen this morning. You guys are back here in the creek and made big mayfly hatch overnight. You said the, the, they were garden frying here last weekend. T break it down a little bit for us. Yeah, we've just been stepping around the plant grass and pads in here. There was a lot of a lot of fish in here just feeding on some type of fry. I don't know what kind of woods, but uh, it seems like it's kind of died off though from what it was. This portion of Alabama Bass Trail TV presented by Phoenix Boats is sponsored by Garmin, by Academy Sports and Outdoor, and by America's First Credit Union. There's more right after this. Buying stale burnt coffee is like eating hot sushi out of a vending machine. It's just a no-no. Explosion. Cool guys don't look at them. As a veteran-owned and operated company, we take massive pride in giving back. And with your support, we've donated millions to charitable organizations and veterans. Do you have a lightsaber leg, Jay? Yeah, I got a lightsaber leg. When you sign up for our coffee club, you get fast free shipping directly to your door. The mushroom and Swiss burger is back at Jack's. Two all beef patties, grilled mushrooms and onions, melted Swiss, and our savory gravy. Take a seat and invite the whole family. Even Uncle Terry, who isn't really your uncle. Get it before it's gone. Whether you say supper or dinner, we've got your wallet covered. After 4 p.m. every day, get our $6 dinner deals. Our southern fried chicken favorites with two sides and a biscuit for just six bucks. See you after four. Boat 142, Mitch Mitchell, Candler McCollum. Been trying to catch up with these guys. They moved around a few times. We finally had a chance to get them to stop long enough for us to cover them. How's it going so far today, guys? Ah, uh, we got about nine pounds. Okay. We got, we got five little ones. Large mouth spots or a mixture? Large mouth. Okay. Got something hooked up. Not what they're looking for. We've caught up with fifth place team in the Angler of the Year race. Wesley Sams, Jordan Wiggins out here on the flats and I asked them how they were doing and they just said not good. So <laughs> they didn't elaborate, but slow morning. They went out boat 210 and that boat number is so important. 
it can't it certainly can be when it's crowded out here on these flats like this boat number can play a huge factor in your tournament getting off to you know a, a good start laying that foundation early in the morning is key in the summertime guys you got a limit came here to start and been here all day tell us a little bit about what's going on just figure we could catch a limit here so we're just coming to catch a limit probably move on in a little bit they ain't hardly the size we wanted. I got one three pounder, the rest of them just mid twos. Yeah, it's about 46. Just doing the old slow fishing. All right, we've caught up with the ninth place team, the Bubble Boys, in this Angler of the Year race, the Tomlins. And right when we pulled up, they caught a, caught a good fish and cold, and they're out here on the flats. and. Really, the crowd. There's still a lot of boats around, but it's not as they're not as clustered up as they were early. It seems. Here we are, boat 15. It's Roman and Shannon Calvert. These guys are currently second in AOI points. I've been chasing these guys all morning. I've had like three different opportunities to get on them, and every time I get close, they end up moving. So finally, got them where they weren't moving. How's it going so far today, guys? It's going all right. It's got four. Going out boat 210, was it hard finding somewhere that you wanted to start? Went straight where we wanted to start. Really? Yeah. Did not get a fight. That's probably why. <laughs> <laughs> Said they actually got to start right where they wanted to start at boat 210, believe it or not. And then they were disappointed that they, they didn't get bit there. Hooked up Wiggins and Sam's. Good fish. There we go, boys. What kind of weight y'all got? Nah, we got no, we got three little old fish. We decided to do this for a while. We can't. Everything covered up out there. So. Can't fight it out on the flats. Yeah. Justin Bussey and Ben Webb, sixth in the Angler of the Year race, 24 points back, and right when we pulled up, they caught a nice smallmouth, got a limit, that cold one for them right there, and I think they got around 11 pounds, but they're fishing some of this industrial structure that Decatur's known for. Of course, you get a lot of intakes and, and some discharges uh, around some of these, these factories. Seen a lot of anglers on the water today here on Wheeler Lake for the Alabama Bass Trail North Division final tournament of the year. A lot on the stake here, a lot of pressure for a lot of these teams. But this lake right now is really, it's I think diversity is the key. Everybody thought maybe the flats was going to be the key. That's going to be one on the flats. Everybody's going to be fishing the flats. We saw that last year. It's a little different this year than it was last year. I think the diversity of the lake is going to really show out here. We've seen, already seen some teams on the water that are fishing industrial areas, the flats, some really shallow water, really deep offshore. Guys are really trying to figure it out. The teams that put it together this afternoon are the, are the ones that are going to end up on top. Stick around, weigh in is next. Alabama Bass Trail TV, presented by Phoenix Boats, is brought to you by Black Rifle Coffee Company, by TH Marine, from transom to trolling motor, and by Mountain Dew. There's more to come. This summer, we're fueling your fun with weekly giveaways. From gas cards to product packs, each entry gives you an extra chance at our grand prize of a $1,000 TH Marine gift card and a 30-minute video call with Kevin Van Dam. Enter each week at thmarine.com slash fuel the fun for a chance to win. No matter how you fuel your fun, TH Marine is there to help you. Research and development is more than just time in the shop for us. It's time out here. Sweating the details. Making boats that work as well in the real world as they do on paper. From our R&D team to our anglers on the water, we have the knowledge and passion to build you the finest fishing platform in the world. Some things ain't worth keeping. Yesterday's traditions, today's adventures, 
tomorrow's memories. Now that's something worth keeping. Fish Alabama and find your keeper. For more information, visit fishalabama.org. the scales a little early because we've got a good bag of Wheeler Lake bass here. Alan Hayes and Danny Bishop and they wanted to weigh these things early so we can get these puppies back out into the Tennessee River. Good, that's a bag of fish. It is. You've caught a couple of those on this lake before, haven't you? A few. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got here. Woo! 24-23. I'll tell you what, that is worth kicking things off early. Caught them uh, on crankbait and soft plastic. The top water. And yeah, caught one on top. I know a lot of teams are expecting, now that it's starting to get hot, get on them kind of early, catch them early. Did you guys catch them early or did they come throughout the day? We had a quick limit early, then we called about every hour, 45 minutes. Yeah. Corey McMullen, Chris Duckett, five in the bag, a good bag of fish. And I'm hearing we got a, we got a good one in the sack as well. 1773. I'm not going to complain about it. Not today, that's for sure. You better not with, with points on the line and with money on the line. That is for sure. Let's see what this big fish going up for the Mountain Dew Big Bass. That's a good one right there. Let's see. New leader on the Mountain Dew Big Bass side of things, 537. What'd that big girl come on? Uh, drop shot, actually. Corey McMullen and Chris Duckett just crossed the stage, 17.73 pounds. You had a 5.37. I'm assuming that was a large mouth. Yes, sir. Great job, guys. Tell us how you caught your fish today. Uh, pretty much finesse fishing all day. Uh, I threw a drop shot. He threw a Ned rig a lot and, or a shaky head. We had one of our larger fish on a, on a top water. Our team of Brian Dowdy and Cal Llewellyn just crossed the state 18.65 pounds. Tell us how you got your fish today. We caught them offshore. Okay. Yeah. What area of the lake were you fishing? On the lower end. Well, uh, we caught them on a Carolina rig and a swim bait and just a big jig. How many total fish do you think you caught today? Uh, probably 20, 25. You got James DeMoss and Nathan Brewer. Great bag of fish, 17-41. Going to move them into third place. From what we saw this morning on the lake, it seemed kind of tough. The weights we're seeing looked pretty good. How did you guys catch your fish? Uh, caught about half of them on a the jig and half of them on a Carolina rig and a couple on a, on a shaky head worm. Okay. Look, look, looks like some meat coming up through there. 2065 for Sloan Pennington and Walker Brown. And Walker, I just saw you hit him. Did he not think they weighed 20? Is that was that the deal? He was thinking 17. So, are you glad they weighed 20, Sloan? Oh yeah, I'm glad I'm wrong. Well, we call uh, just about everything we weighed in on a big worm and a big jig. What time of day did most of these bites come? Um, we actually caught them all day. Uh, we had a limit by probably seven o'clock, and I think we made our last call around 1:30, 2 o'clock. All right, these guys went out boat 199, but they were also the Angler of the Year leaders by one point. John Kellett, Zeke Gossett, our Smith Lake champions, they faced adversity from the jump, slung an ear on a prop, had to change boats, and ended up with 1697. That's going to put them in ninth place, fellas. That's a way to rebound right there. Before I took <laughs> off, we just said, hey, we found some pretty fish this week practicing, and uh, we're just going to go out there and fish, do the best we can, and let the cars lie where they fall, you know, and just give it all we got. 
23-23 takes the win at Wheeler, but probably what surprises me the most is these guys came in four and a half hours and still got it done. Listen, they spotted the field several hours and a couple pounds, you know, and came in early. They led it wire to wire. Before we even went, went live with the weigh-in, were you nervous? I mean, I, I was nervous for you. You came in so I've been nervous for five hours. <laughs> <laughs> it worked out, though, for sure. It worked out for you. Guys, tell us how you got it done t today on Wheeler. I mean, we talked earlier in the week. You were saying it was fishing tough. Tell us how you got it done today. Just, I mean, we had found one place that we didn't really check it but one time at the early part of the week, and we caught a fish close to the area, and we was like, it, it, they're, they're going to be here. So... We didn't really find anything on a lot of the other stuff. You know, like I told you earlier in the week that it, we just wasn't doing any good. Caught a lot of drum, but a few bass here and there, but nothing like they were on this place. So we just didn't bother it and then went back to it this morning. Actually, some buddies of ours told us <laughs> a few minutes ago that we went by them at the on our first spot that we went to and they seen us catch three so <laughs> are you still buddies now yeah. 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 they're a little mad at us but probably owe them supper i'm they gonna say fished, exactly they had exactly. fished right over them so but they were fishing the ledge differently than we were they were up on it we just had a good area and we knew they were there and yeah. stayed with it stayed yeah. with it 23 23 gets it done at wheeler that's a wrap for the 2023 season here in the North. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next Sunday on Valley Sports Southeast.